everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 42, and this is war number 11. And we're going up against an alliance called Gorurus. I believe we fought them at the beginning of the season and lost, so this will be a chance to redeem ourselves. We'll see who they banned. All right. Um, okay, nobody that I normally go in with. <laughs> Globally banned, of course. All right. Let's see what they have planned for us. Okay. Um, I take path three uh, in both section one and two. And when I see a Mephisto and I see a man thing here, I'm thinking Red Hulk. Red Hulk can take that Mephisto and can take that man thing. Now, my Red Hulk is not yet awakened, but I have a uh, science awakening gem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that on him and I'm going to put some Sig Stones into him. Uh, just recently, I maxed out a couple of champs. Uh, six stone wise, and I'm going to take him probably to like 21 or something like that. And hopefully that is enough to handle that Mephisto. If it's not, we're going to find out. I'll just have to play it carefully and slow and, and you know, avoid his uh, incineration aura as much as I can. Um, but that'll be interesting. And invulnerability boost does not help there. <laughs> All right. And we've got Sasquatch um, on this node. Honestly, several champions I can think of could take this Sasquatch. Might take a little bit of a different, uh, different play. You know, might have to change up the play style a little bit. Um, trying to think. You know, Archangel can do it. Uh, I'll see who my uh, alliance mates are bringing in. Uh, but I'm definitely going to take that man thing. All right. And, ooh, Nimrod's up there. Okay. Ooh, look at this. All tech path. So that future Ant-Man worries me. He gets armor ups. On this node, armor ups give him... Yeah, see that sloped armor? So he's going to have chance to glance incoming attacks. Um, he also has his own glancing ability. Heighten his thorns means I'd better bring somebody that um, is bleed immune. All right, and um, yeah. Yeah. So Nebula is bleed immune. Nebula might be able to deal with him. Definitely bringing Nebula for that Nimrod up there. And for that uh, Omega Sentinel. But this future Ant-Man, um, I believe she can do it. But I may bring in um, Claire. In her Curse of Blood... She might be able to uh, do this fight and give Nebula a break. I, I don't like bringing in one champ to handle like too many fights because you never know what's going to happen in war. Um, not only that, uh, Claire can also be a backup here. Um, in her Curse of Hellfire, she can take this Mephisto. In her Curse of Plague... She could take this man thing, but this right here, resistance is futile. Um, that would give me pause because she would be immune. And so they might gain more power than I would like. So I would really rather use Red Hulk because he's not immune to poison. So that would not 
go into effect. And he can take both of these fights. Uh, but Claire could take that Mephisto. So if I want to give Red Hulk a break, I could have Claire do the Mephisto fight and maybe this Ant-Man have Red Hulk do the man thing and Nebula handle um, Omega Sentinel and Nimrod. So I think that's the team I'm going to go in with. Claire, Red Hulk, after I awaken him and um, get his SIG up a little bit. Um and uh, Nebula. The only only concern I have, really, that future Ant-Man and whether 21 SIG levels is enough. I might put more. Um, I'll go to the Battleground store. Uh, that's one thing that's not changing cost-wise uh, is the Signature Stone. So I might go there and put some more into him, and we'll see. Uh, I'm going to look and see what his sweet spot is that he won't take the damage. Uh, so he might go up even higher if I can get him up higher. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. I'm going in with Red Hulk, Claire, and Nebula. And as you can see, I have awakened my Red Hulk. And I put a bunch of six stones into him. And we're going to see how that works out. I heard that he needs to be without the heat charges. Um, around 50 or 60, he's not. But with the heat charges, we're okay. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and play him cautiously anyway. Um, he is still a great option for Mephisto. I remember, I think it was in a variant. I went in with Red Hulk thinking, perfect, right? But he wasn't awakened. And that incinerate aura tore me up. And that's when I learned that the aura is different from, you know, him converting, you know, any uh, debuffs, incinerate debuffs. All right, so you can see here, I'm not going in like, yeah, I'm invulnerable. I'm just playing cautiously. I don't know how he decks in me, but that's okay. All right. See, I'm, I'm just nice and slow. Nice and slow. Okay. That's it. I only got four heat charges. Nice and slow. There we go. Fire that off. I thought that was going to finish him off. And then I had to finish him because he was about to get a special three. But we're done. Pretty clean. Now this next fight. This next fight was challenging. And if I had to do it over again, I know what I would do. But anyway, I'm going in here with Red Hulk. No problem, right? You saw the nodes. I looked at the nodes. The problem didn't come from the nodes. And I want you to watch what happens. See if you can figure it out. Okay? So he's getting his regen. Oh, all right. But I'm still doing some damage. Okay. I'm, I'm staying close to him a little too much. I'm being a little too aggressive. So I try to back off a little bit. And, you know, let the uh, regens fall off. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to do that. And he gets to a special three. I'm like, okay. Special three. I got the... Uh, Damage reduction. Okay. Shouldn't kill me. Oh, grab my head. Oh, but I'm still alive. And he has all his health. So I fired up a special two to try and get some health back. You know, and you can see I'm, I'm trying to back off, back off. Let the uh, regen go. And look at him. He's at two bars of health. Now he's at three. I'm like, what? in the heck is happening do you guys know i do i'll tell you after the fight second special two uh three and i'm still alive and now i'm just like all right what i don't even think i'm gonna be able to finish this fight let me try to hurt him a little bit 
and there he has another special three. So may as well fire off my special two. At least I got some damage. And he's got another special three. Fun, right? And another snatch. And boom. And that's Red Hulk down. So I posted up this video in my chat. Because I was trying to figure out what in the world happened. You know, because I was focusing on the nodes. Problem wasn't the nodes. It was an old-fashioned problem. The old-fashioned problem is this guy has probably 5 out of 5 MD. Do you remember what MD does? That's how he's gaining all that power. Every time one of those placebo buffs expired... That's more power. Any buff that expired, more power. So that, along with the regen, you saw what happened. Now, had I known that, I wouldn't have gone in with Red Hulk. But I got something for him. We, we discussed it, and they looked at the video, and one of the guys clued me in to what was happening. Because we were like, no, because we were talking about the nodes. You're like, well, no, he's immune, but he's not immune to poison, so that shouldn't have fed him, and blah, blah, blah. It was just MD and those placebos and everything. So now I got me Claire, and I put an invulnerability in case he gets to a special three again like you just saw before. But I knew she was going to tear him up because he can't get regen no more. Okay, as you can see, look at this. No more regen for you. And see, I just went ham. Stayed in uh, that uh, curse of uh, plague. And so he wasn't getting his uh, his power. So I have power control here. Look at this. Don't matter. And he wouldn't have gotten that uh, special three off either because I would have hit my special two, knocked it all the way down, and then maybe he would have got a special three after that if the fight went longer. So should have just brought Claire in in the first place. All right, so anyway, live and learn, lesson, lesson. And later, you're going to find out that I didn't really learn very well, at least one lesson. But anyway, we go in here. That's already cleared. And we've got future Ant-Man. You know who I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to buff up like I always do. No need not to buff up. I don't have um, Magneto, who I believe would have also done uh, fine on this node, I think. I'd be scared of that bleed because it's a big, hefty bleed. But I think with the magnetism and his uh, resistance, I think it would have been okay. But Claire... Because Claire don't need to do nothing but stay in Curse of Blood. And if he gets all those armor ups, I don't care. She also can nullify him. So we're good. Saw that? Nullified, nullified, and then they turned into a passive. We ain't playing that game. That's why I'm still in Curse of Blood. All that glancing. It's annoying. But we're still doing it. Okay, just got to get him to fire that special off. He don't want to do it. There we go. And I'm not even trying to evade him. Just, just block him. And then, yeah. So let's go keep going. We're not going to even talk about my character just running in and walking into a, a, a combo. We're just going to keep going like that didn't happen. Okay, moving along. If you knew what came out of my mouth when that was happening. Anyway, I try to be good. But sometimes this game gets it. Gets me. Um, but anyway, so here we go. Got him down. Lost uh, more than half my health, but we didn't die. So we're good. Now. Um, I think, what was the next fight? Yeah. This next fight, Nebula. 
We ain't worried about it. She's going to get armor ups, but Nebula can shut her down. So we're all good. So it's a it's a regular normal um, nebula fight. All right, so here we go. Yep, yep. It's all good. Yep, build it up. Now we can just fight her like normal at this point. I don't have to stay in that corner, which is why you see me busting, you know, moving out of it. Um. All right, and there we go. Just push her out again. And I don't have to do any medium light, medium, medium lights, or, you know, alternating attacks or anything like that. We're all good. And uh, at this point, I'm like, okay, do I need to go all the way to the top? It's fun. Bam! And there we go. Boom. So, that was a pretty straightforward fight. Went just the way I wanted it to. Do you see a problem yet? So the next fight is a uh, Nimrod. And Nebula tears up Nimrod, except, oh look, high energy diet, my friend. I forgot. Nebula is not gonna work here, nor is Claire. And I don't know if Red Hulk was going to work. So I told them, look, I messed up again. High energy diet. Claire's not going to work. Nebula's not going to work. Do you want me to revive and try with Red Hulk? I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, and they were like, nope, nope. Um, they already had somebody with Kingpin that could take him. And that's what happened. All right. So we'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and one of the biggest surprises is that we won this war. Look at the exploration. That's what did it. Someone on their end dropped the ball because we knew we lost this war. All right, it was a very close war. All right, look at this. It was a close war. But we knew we had lost. We just knew it. And we were already uh, given speeches and, and, okay, you know, we just need to come back and win the next war and all of that good stuff. And when this happened, we were like, how did we win? And we looked over here. They did. They didn't. They didn't finish the map. So that was, I guess. Um, I'm looking here. That looks like that was enough to uh, get us that that win. That and in, in their diversity. Crazy. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Surprise win indeed. Uh, take care. And you all have a blessed day.